In the following video, we're going to review open or down pressure with a high float hydraulic block. So once we have our openers going down, then we have to create some down force as well as trip force. This is the coil that does that. So we send power to increase or decrease the pressure to the openers. There is also a manual override for that. A plastic cap that comes off and you can adjust the screw if you need to adjust the speed manually. There is a gauge, a manual gauge, indicating the hydraulic pressure to the openers. In behind that is a transducer. This sends the signal back to the control box or the X35 monitor indicating the hydraulic pressure that's being exerted. Coming out of the block we have our DRLR and our DLRP pressure and return. We have another safety valve on the return side of it. Then the pressure oil just simply travels out to the openers. And applies hydraulic force on the base end of the cylinder to push the opener down. That same force exerted is our trip force for our opener as well as pack force for our packer. On our raising cycle, we don't want to go through the pressure reduction valve, so we bypass it by going through the CXFA manual check valve. It's a manual check. So let's review what we've learned so far. When we look at the 3441-53 high flow block, we see that the oil is coming from the tractor on the TRTRDC-P port. And then it makes its way over to the P port of the directional control solenoid. And then when we're in the lowering position, so openers down, we're feeding pressure to the base end of the openers cylinders by pressurizing the A port going back into the high flow block and then making our way out to the openers. Before we get to the openers, we realize that we're sitting at tractor system pressure before the pressure reduction valve, and we have to lower that. The pressure applied to the base end of the opener cylinders is both the trip pressure plus the pack pressure. So we need to reduce that substantially. So how do we do so? We have this two part opener down pressure valve. It's got an electro hydraulic section as well as a manual override section. So we reduce the pressure and then send it along its way out to the base end of those cylinders to push them down. The return so the rod end of those opener cylinders is connected to the DRL-R port and it simply is able to get returned back to the B port. Now in the raising position, so well now the B port is going to be fully pressurized. It'll bypass our counterbalance valves both of them. It'll feed pressure to the rod end. So this is sitting at system pressure. And then when the opener base end becomes a return, it simply just bypasses a manual check, the CXFA, and returns to the A port. 